Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. I just stumbled upon this new nifty project called as Comfy UI Copilot which seems like a blessing for the people who routinely work with Comfy UI workflows. This project is an AI powered custom node for Comfy UI that has been designed to enhance workflow automation and it provides intelligent assistance. In this video, I am going to show you how you can install it and then we will also use it for our project. Now, if you don't know what Comfy UI is, just go to my channel and search with Comfy UI tutorial. I have done an end to end, very simple to understand Comfy UI tutorial where you can learn to install it locally and then you can also check it out as how to create workflows and how to work with it. Comfy UI is one of the leading tools which is quite flexible and customizable in order to run stable diffusion type models for text to image and text to video generation and we have done heaps of videos on Comfy UI. Comfy UI is, has also got a component called as Comfy UI Manager which you can use to install custom nodes or the nodes which have been built by other people and other organizations to extend the functionality of Comfy UI. So for this video, I am assuming that you already have Comfy UI installed with Comfy UI Manager and you are aware of the basic concepts of Comfy UI. If you don't, I would highly recommend you just go to my channel, search for it and watch this video, which is just around 28 minutes long. And after watching this video, you should become a hero from zero when it comes to Comfy UI. So you can see that my Comfy UI is running here and I have this uh, default workflow loaded. Now in order to install this Comfy UI Copilot, the first step you need to do is to just click on this manager icon, then click on custom node manager. And then once it is loaded, all you need to do is to just go to this search here. And from there you can simply search for it Comfy UI Copilot as you can see that it is already there. So I'm just going to go with this first one. So I'll just click here 1.0.2. It is going to install it locally. And of course there are multiple ways of installing it. This is the easiest one. And then um, I'm just going to go select whatever is available. You can get clone it and you can also just go to your custom node folder in Comfy UI at your local OS. But this is the easiest way. Once it is installed, let's restart it and then confirm it is going to restart the Comfy UI. So I'm just going to click here and then once it restarts, this red button or red pop up will turn into a green. And that is done. And then I'll just confirm it. It is going to reload the Comfy UI for me. So you see, um, as soon as it got installed, there is this pop up button. You just click on it. It is uh, and you can see that it is asking us that what exactly we want to use with it. Whether do we want um, GPT-40 mini or if you click on this drop down here, there are multiple models which you can select from here. Now, one thing, the first step you would need to do is to just click on this cog icon and you see that it says that enter your API key and you don't have an api key so just click on to request one once you click here it takes you to a web form where you can just request a key so i'll just click here and then i'm just going to go my email address and then it has asked for my country which i have given and then technical developer maybe we'll just let's go with it let's click on submit and then uh, i will just go back to my uh, terminal and check it out and by the way this is coming from alibaba.com so which is quite interesting anyway so i'm just going to go here and let me go to my email and check if i have received the api key so the email hasn't come yet let's wait for it and while we wait let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGenPod. iGenPod lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge pod across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Let's go back and I believe I have received the key in my email so let me grab my key 
and then let me paste it here hopefully it won't be visible and there you go so i have pasted my key so far i haven't uh, you know signed up or paid anything which is good and the key has been set now that is cool now one thing i would really love is that if i could change uh, this in the settings if i could change it to dark theme i couldn't really see anything okay anyway no problem so what i'm going to do i'll just keep this as is i and because it's an intelligent one so i'll just minimize my workflow here and i will try to run it to see what happens now i'll just click on q here so it says that close i'll just say um i am receiving maybe i'll just copy paste this whole thing and i'm just going to show you as is without mincing anything i'm receiving falling error while running my workflow let's see so ai is thinking now i think the api key which we have just set may be coming from alibaba or somewhere else because i didn't set any of the open ai api key anyway so now you see there you go so it says that uh, this is good so if i go up it is telling me what could be wrong so i was actually hoping that it would be able to read my existing workflow somehow but i don't think so what it does is that you can maybe i can upload my image here that could be the one option i'll do that after this but other than that i gave it an error and it is giving me that okay uh, these are the okay it is doing something the install node it is saying the uninstall node these are not here so it could check i think in the custom node folder but it couldn't really read my flow here anyway so what i'm going to do i'll just click on q again and then i am just going to take a screenshot of this and i'll upload this to see what it does so i have uploaded the screenshot of this error and then i am asking it how to resolve error shown in image in my workflow so ai is thinking so it is using either one of these models and there you go so it was able to find actually it was able to decipher my image so let me go up sorry it's a bit slightly slow there you go so you see it has read it well so it is saying that the error indicates that checkpoint name is this not recognized ensure that this exist name matches a file in your checkpoint directory so it's not as intelligent as i would have thought but still very very close enough so it is sort of a co-pilot so i think a uh, lot of uh, good stuff there but still a lot of room to improve especially in terms of intelligence so otherwise i could just open uh, maybe another uh, chat gpt or some other model app and i could do the same there and it now you see that is saying checkpoint loader simple and if i just go here i already have this load checkpoint so how about if it uh, if this tool could offer me to download this model which you can see on this node which is a real problem because i don't have this checkpoint this um, where it is giving me the error so i think this will be real good if uh, it could download the model for me because look if you have been building in comfy ui there are two main pain points one that comfy ui could uh, let us download the model if it is missing and more importantly if there is a node missing in the whole work for example if i download a workflow and then if a node is missing it could offer me to uh, generate uh, you know download the node or create the node so for example if i'll just go there i'll say new and then i'll say okay uh, can you create a simple flux dot one dev workflow for me let's see if it can do that it is thinking i will let it run so it is telling me these are the flux one wow this is good if it can do that that will be amazing stuff so i'll just go with the first one so this is a one two three 
if it is safe or not i don't know but it's a vm so i'll just accept it it's okay so once you accept it it doesn't put it here you can download it what is it and it is in chinese so i'll just go here so it doesn't download it it has taken me to the github from where maybe i could do, but what do i download from here i don't i don't know what exactly that happened there bit risky i would say and what is this graph uh, let me click it yes so once i click on graph then it has given me the um, workflow it has loaded it onto the canvas now it would be really good if i could move it somewhere so, okay now it this is the one so let me quickly check if it's the right one so laura load checkpoint you know what it has given me the right workflow which is good okay now and it is telling me selected node is case sampler and it is telling me what could be the use and all that so i'll just say case sampler and downstream nodes let's see so these are all the downstream nodes and you can just hover on them it is going to it is showing me the workflow so not bad at all so if i click on it for example this latent one you see it has put the node here there you go so you know what not bad at all even with this early days it is doing well so i think i'm going to play around with this more and but for simple workflows i think you can easily use that now let me click on new here and then i'm going to say it create me a simple workflow for uh, i'll just say st1 and also download all the required models and required nodes on my canvas let's see if it can do that so it is thinking let's wait for it to come back there you go so it is going through there it is giving me three stable workflows also showing me next step this is a flux bullet the tiled one maybe i'll just go with the color one let's accept it i'll click on graph there you go and okay so it is telling me okay can you also download custom nodes because that is my main uh, point there let's see if it can read through that these red ones are the missing ones maybe i could ask it maybe i could make my prompt bit better that can you install the missing custom nodes and i'm sorry if you're new to the channel this is how we do it we just keep it raw so that you would understand um, that you know it's an iterative process we go through it instead of a curated um, videos anyway so if i go up it's not really showing me those ones yeah it's okay maybe let's quickly check so you see it says mz colors unit but i don't see that node here i'll ask it again can you download missing nodes uh, on my canvas first identify which nodes are missing in my are missing on my canvas in my workflow let's see i'm just trying to make prompt as helpful as possible let's wait for it okay so you see it is unable to identify the missing nodes on my existing workflow but still uh, i believe at this point in time what this could do is that you can simply create the simple workflows with it and then you can maybe get um, help from it as you go as you build your workflow not bad effort at all and really good stuff i think uh, with the passage of time it is going to progress further and then it will be able to install all the missing nodes and you know i'm sure the day will come when i will just ask us to create a workflow for me to do a certain thing around in painting or around any uh, customization and video prompt and all that case sampling scheduling with all the custom node and it will be able to do it 
So that's it. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. I will drop the link to it in video description. If you like the content, please do me a favor and share it among your network and also subscribe to, to the channel. I'll be very, very obliged. Thank you very much.